Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've hello, hello. How are you today? Well, I hope. Bit chilly today. Nobody would have thought it was winter, would you? <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Libby Dyson. I'm an independent Stammered Up demonstrator in Australia. And I'm so pleased you could join me today. Today we're going to make a quick and easy easel card using the Tasteful Touches bundle and the gorgeous DSP Flowers for Every Season. It's just beautiful and I have used it before but I really like it. Today we're using products from the current annual catalogue but Look what I got in the mail today. Can't show you the inside or I'd have to kill you. So the 2020, August to December 2020 mini catalogue. Just wonderful. So much in there for um, the holiday season, Christmas, um, if you do Thanksgiving, um, lots of bundles, um, stuff in there for Halloween if you're interested in that. Um, we don't actually do Halloween here, but we have lots of kids who stop by and I always have a little bucket of lollies for them to choose from. Um, what else? Treats, tags. Um, oh, there's a new press on coffee. Guess I'll have to get that set. Um, yeah, lots of gorgeous stuff. Plus there's some returning items. So I remember the um, Christmas Gleaming, I think it was called. Just see if I can find it and give you the correct name. With the punches, um, that's returning. And the Feels Like Frost is returning. Um, beautiful DSP. Um, if you're into winter things at Christmas or just buy the DSP so you can do winter things in winter here in Australia. Um, the Christmas moose, whatever that one was called, it's returning. I'm just trying to see where I can find. There it is, Merry Moose, that's returning. Um, and lots of lovely embellishments. Here it is, the Christmas Gleaming. So it's returning with the punches and the stamp set that you buy separately. And that gorgeous DSP is returning. So that's great. So anyway, so that's in the new um, August to December mini catalogue that will go live on the 1st of August. All right. So I'll put that away and we won't be tempted by it anymore. So this is the card we're making. It's a quick and easy easel card using the tasteful touches. So it folds up like that. And there's the envelope that goes with it. I'll show you that all in a minute. And this is the stamp set we're using today. And we're using in colours. So um, the new 2020 to 2022 in colours we're using today. So here's the card. Do it like that. You might be able to see it a bit better. And the envelope. Okay. So as I said, we're using the Tasteful Touches bundle, which is just gorgeous. I've used it quite a bit. So here's the stamp set and it is a bundle that's in the In Good Taste suite. So this is the suite, but we're not using this DSP today. All right, so this is the DSP we're using, the flowers for every season. Love this DSP. So that one there, here it is, Tasteful Touches bundle. So you get the stamps and you get all these lovely dice. Anyway. You knew that, didn't you? This is the new August to December mini catalogue. So this is our card. It's really quick and easy to make. 
and I've got the measurements in metric and sort of in imperial so we'll get started all right so this time out of the flowers for every season six by six DSP I've chosen this beautiful blue which is misting and light all right the easiest way to make a quick easel card is to grab your bone folder and cut a piece the full length of your A4 or your letter size fold it in half just like that and then take one piece usually the top piece and fold it in half again so if you want the measurements they are 11 by four and a quarter or 29.7 by 10.5 then when you fold it you're folding it at five and a half or 14.85 and then when you fold it again you're folding it at two and three quarters or 7.425 so that's why i just said fold it in half burnish it fold it in half again burnish it easy all right now i do have my label already um die cut out using the tasteful touches tasteful labels i'll get my mouth working here in a minute so I've used this one on the card that I made previously. All right, so the one I made previously, I used that bigger one. Now, I learnt something doing that. I love the Just J. All right, so if I come in with this stamp, which is the leaves and Just Jade and... I'm just going to ink up the leaves and I'm going to stamp off once, stamp off twice and stamp on and I'm only using part of the leaves. So stamp on, stamp off once, stamp off twice, stamp on. All right, so that's all we need the Just Jade for. And then I'm coming in with just Memento and I've already layered my stamps up on my block and this one's going to say you are so special and then come in and just stamp. I don't cut these earlier so I'm hoping I'm going to stamp straight. All right so that's our sentiment done now it's going to go down here so i need to add some stamp and dimensionals to it and i'm just using up some sides here these extra bits on there i won't need um one in the middle get your take your pick tool now i am going to put a piece DSP on here as well about two centimeters up so I'm going to put that about there all right and then your easel card stands up like that against the sentiment all right so I have some DSP a card front now with the card front I thought I might stamp in misty moonlight this time and I'll show you a trick that makes these flowers look absolutely gorgeous so I'm just stamping these three times and you can sort of judge where to stamp them that one's a bit close but it won't really matter close the ink pad up again so I don't get more ink on me come in with a blender pen this time so i have just thrown one out that i've had for about 10 years all right and while the ink's still wet you're just going to color over the image bringing in that 
ink and you don't have to do all of it you can leave you can make dark bits you can leave light bits you can do whatever you want it's just a nice way to color the image you could do it with a clear wink of Stella I would have done it with that if I had a full one that's that bit and then let's see I could put a bit of this down here or I could do that I might do that so bring in the trimmer this bit's going to go on there but I want to put some DSP on there as well so I just need about two centimeters or three quarters of an inch if you're using imperial measurements um, by 10 centimeters or four inches so that bit's going to go down there and then we need another bit to go down the side so this is we'll just use this leftover bit three centimeters or say one and a quarter and we might make that the other one I did a bit short so this one I'm going to do the full length so I'll do it 13.9 or um, nine uh, five, tell you five and a quarter and you've got a little bit left over I keep those bits in case they come in handy for something. All right, now I got in the mail, in my order, I should say, this new stamp and seal. And it comes like this with a little thing on it, little cap on it. And it's got a rough bit on top. That's where your forefinger goes. Oh, I love blender pens, Linda. You can use them for all sorts of things. Might have to do some technique videos. All right, so this is the new stamp and seal. So it comes like this. You can buy refills for it. Just pull it apart, put the refill in like the old snail. And you put your forefinger on the rub on the rough bit up here. That's where that goes. And it's got a nice sort of like... Um, I don't know, gun grip, I suppose. I don't have a gun, but I guess that's what you call it. And it's got a cap on it. Keep the cap on it so you don't get any fluff or dirt on your stamp and seal while when you're not using it. If um, it won't roll ahead, if you have trouble with that, um, just use the tip of your finger and get it to roll on and it. it starts up again now the tip with the cap is the long bit on the cap goes on the bottom all right so short bit on the top long bit on the bottom that's how it fits together and you store it like that so we're going to use this today it's good that Stampin' Up! have now got an adhesive I think I'm going to like so you just have it sort of upright and roll along. There are instructions on the packet I have here. And it shows you on the packet how to hold it. All right, so it says remove the cap, uh, grasp the app applicator as shown press against paper at an angle at the angle shown with light and consistent pressure when finished um, release the pressure and pull back replace the cap so easy peasy and it's sticky look look at that all right so i'm going to stick that all right, this piece I'm going to push. All right, it's got to be more at, um, upright. So I'm used to doing sort of 45 degrees, but that rolls nicely when it's upright. Put the cap back on. 
So a short bit at the top, long bit at the bottom. And sticking that down there. All right, now this bit's going to go on here. So you don't want to put adhesive any further up than that. So I just come in with a pencil because you're not going to see this. And just below that crease, I just put a little mark. So the little mark's just there. And I know I can put adhesive up to there. So I'll come in again with my stamp and seal, she says. I'm not able to get the cap off. That's not the stamp and seal's problem. That's mine. All right. And I'm just going to come across and add a few lines. So it stopped running so you just use your finger so you're going to put it on this bit here putting the cap back on is no different to your liquid glue really is it except this doesn't have wriggle room but that doesn't matter all right so i've got that adhered there and there's our quick and easy easel card now i was going to put some uh, rhinestones or something on it. It's an elegant faceted gems. I think they'd look nice. And we might put them the um, petal pink ones on just for something different. I might put one there and then one there and one there. Alright, so that's our card so far then i've got the envelope now i'm not using the stamp and seal for the envelope because i need to be a little bit more exact with that so i'm going to come in and i put it at the front on my envelope so I can see where I need to put the glue. So I'm putting the glue about here in a straight line down and along the edge and here in a straight line down and along the edge and along the edge here. Add that to the back of your envelope. Bring in your snips off the remainder now on the other one i just had um i guess about half a sheet of dsp that i used totally on the card so i was able to use up that bit that i had left over from before but then this one i'll be able to use up on another project at another time so there's our envelope and our card. It's now, for those of you who live in Australia, sandwich bags are just the right size for your 6x6 or 15.2x15.2 DSP. And I just cut the label off the packet, use some stamp and seal and stick it to the bag. So then I know what's what. All right. So that's our card for today so we've used uh, elegant faceted gems tasteful touches bundle misty moonlight and a blender pen oh and just jade ink and tuxedo black yeah, and a blender pen so thanks so much for stopping by today i really appreciate your time i'd love you to shop with me and when you shop with me you get an extra special thing in the mail from me an extra special gift in the mail so that's it from me today thanks so much again for stopping by and for your time Everybody i really do appreciate it bye for now love. It's
show.